Hello, my name is Adam Lowe, and I'm a postdoctoral researcher in Biomedical Research Center, and I will be discussing accelerometry and using CenterPoint for, uh, for accelerometers in NPH. So first I'm going to demonstrate initializing the devices. So here we have a GT9X accelerometer, and you can see that hand on the front there indicates that the device is not recording and needs to be initialized before being distributed to a participant. And so now I'm going to plug this device in to the dock that is plugged into the computer, and I'll share my screen as well. And so I just plug the device, uh, the GT9X accelerometer into the dock. And this window uh, pops up, prompting me to assign the device uh, to a participant. And so you can see here, it gives the device's uh, serial number, and it uh, says that it cannot be used until it's assigned to a subject in the study. And so I can click on this button, assign the subject now, and it will uh, take me to the CenterPoint website. But first, it you can see here, it prompts me uh, that this device has a low charge, only 61%, and that this might not be a good idea to distribute until it's fully charged um, to the participant. You can see here, though, that I can continue to the assignment and charge the monitor later. So I'll click that button, and now this is the device assignment screen. Uh, you can see right here the subject identifier, and so in uh, this case, I'm going to change studies here. So this is the N. PH study, you can see again, it prompts me uh, with this battery warning, but I'll continue. Uh, and now I'll enter the subject identifier. Uh, in this case, I'm assigning a device to a participant who is not in the system, who has not had a device assigned to them before. If I was assigning this device to someone who'd received the accelerometer previously, I can look down here into uh, the assigned to an existing subject spot. And in this drop down, it shows all of the uh, participant, the subject identifiers that have previously been used. And now this isn't pre populated um, through NPH. It is only uh, within your local site with uh, the subject identifiers that you've used previously. And so uh, if you're using a new subject identifier format, you're adding an underscore with the visit code or you're just naming it in a, a unique way, that will not appear in this dropdown uh, if it hasn't been done before. And so I'll use uh, uh, an arbitrary subject identifier or NPH. We will be using numbers and letters. Uh, as far as I believe, it uh, should be about 10 characters um, for the subject identifier. And so now I'll click uh, Sign Device to a new subject. And then the, the next screen that appears is the process for initializing the accelerometer, the uh, progress bar. There it is. So uh, it indicates that we need to make sure the accelerometer is plugged in and into the computer. And we just have to wait for ActiSync now. And so there's a couple of steps here. Again, you see the serial number is displayed right there. And that didn't take very long. Uh, it says that assignment is complete. And uh, it's the activity monitor is configured and we can unplug the activity monitor. And so I'm going to take it out of the dock. And now showing you here, there is a where uh, sensor calibration. The counts down from uh, from 10. And during that time, you would want to sit it down flat on a surface. Like that, so that it can, cal can calibrate on a flat surface for those 10 seconds. So now this device, you can see, shows the time and date. Time and date, as well as the battery life in the top left corner. Um, and this device is ready to be uh, given, distributed to a participant. 
So now I'm going to show you uh, how to download a device when you're collecting it back from a participant. And so I have another device here that I initialized a little while ago that you can see has um, bingo has that running man symbol in the top uh, left um, right there. The running man that indicates that the device is collecting data. And so now I'm going to plug this device into the dock and I'll show you how to go through the download process. I'm going to share my screen again. OK, so now I'm going to plug that device in. And you can see that this picture appears, uh, this pop up window saying it's uh, syncing the device, shows the battery life. And this takes just a second. This window also appears. This says that uh, all raw data has been sent to Centerpoint. And no raw data files are waiting, and so that means that there's nothing that staff have to do. All of the data has been pushed to Centerpoint and Centerpoint is now storing all of that data. So I'll click dismiss. And you can see that the uh, computer automatically took me to the subject upload uh, page and the data has been successfully uploaded kind of automatically. Um, and now we just need to verify uh, the wear time compliance. And this can take up to 45 minutes if the device has been worn for at least seven days. Um, so I'm going to skip this step and I'm just going to click I acknowledge the upload is complete. And now I'm going to go to the subject detail page. And so by downloading the data, doing what I just did, did not stop data collection from the device. So you can see in this spot right here, the subject activity monitor is still collecting data and has been doing that for the last 52 minutes. And so if the device had been uh, worn for seven days, you know, it would indicate it up here. Um, and if we were just uh, trying to uh, charge the device or we wanted to just check to confirm that it was collecting data, we could do that without having to reinitialize it because we haven't stopped data collection yet. That is still occurring. Uh, and once the center point processes all of that data, you can see that there's one upload, but the data has been processed yet, indicated by no data for the subject. Um, but if we wait long enough, eventually data will show up. And uh, the data will look like this if they wore the device for at least seven days. So you see here the date range. So it was distributed on the 19th or initialized on the 19th. And uh, the device was stopped. Data collection was stopped on the 26th. You can see that uh, this indicates six to seven days. Six of the seven days were compliant. And that's based on a preset criteria. And so for this study, uh, a study not affiliated with NPH used 18 hours uh, to verify minimum wear compliance. And so in this case, six of the seven days showed 18 hours of wear time. Also shows the average steps per day. And then moving down, we see wear percentage each day with a green line of 18 hours, uh, which is equal to about 75% of uh, the day. That green line. And then moving down, we have steps per day in our bar graph. And we have each day broken down in terms of wear compliance. So you can see the first day was 16 hours and 40 minutes with a red X, which means it didn't reach the 18 hour minimum wear compliance mark. On the following six days are all green checks, all 18 hours at least of wear time. And that final day was only seven hours. OK. So now we've downloaded the data. And so we can X out um, of this page. I'll show you now the uh, the actually we'll go back here. So now if we were done collecting data, if this participants wear time was complete and we wanted to um, remove this device uh, from assignment to the subject, we want to stop data collection. We would click this big red button on the subject details page. 
stop data collection. And you can see there's this progress bar again. And again, it uploads the raw data just to make sure we have everything. And we can click dismiss. And now the absence of a uh, of a box right here shows that this uh, this subject does not have any devices assigned to uh, to them. And so bingo, this device, the uh, the data for the subject has been uploaded. And so it uploaded six minutes of data. And uh, and we can look at that in the subject data report. So. Yeah, we can see this when what the data would look like now where it will lo be located here. And now going back to the, the subject page. We can also look at the subject timeline. And so looking here, uh, this is where it would indicate if weight was entered, which we will not be doing for NPH. Uh, see the individual who initialized assigned the device. Uh, the device's serial number and indicates that the uh, device completed um, initialization. And then we can see that the data was uploaded at this time and battery was 100%. And how much data, raw data was in the file is right there. And again, right before we uh, unassigned the device, it uploaded one more time uh, with a very small amount of data right there and unassigned and so the device um, assignment was ended. And so you can also um, potentially assign milestones. And milestones would indicate the uh, the the visit and what that what uh, visit or time period that data represents. And this information uh, will be further developed uh, for NPH. OK, that's that's the process of initialization, download and then data review. I hope this has been informative.